Welcome to Seltzer Reviewer. I'm your host, Jeffrey Gleason. This is episode 24, High Noon Tequila Seltzer. In 2023, E&J Gallo Winery launched their Tequila High Noon Premium Seltzer. Armed with a keen sense of what seltzer enthusiasts really want, they wasted no time in creating a new hard seltzer featuring the wildly popular spirit of tequila. Now, I've had my high noon tequila seltzers chilling in the Honeywell at a frosty 35 degrees because you've got to keep your gold cold. And I'm charged up to do another high noon review. This one featuring tequila and it is Blanco tequila or silver tequila. Blanco tequila is unaged. It is typically cheaper than other tequila forms, but that does not mean that it cannot be tasty. So, I uh, want to quickly give you the rundown. We have real juice again. We have Blanco tequila, the sparkling water, 2.6 grams of sugar, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, and 100 calories gluten free and we are starting with a new addition to the high noon family this is strawberry i am really excited for this one because they've done all the other flavors justice so let's see what this tequila tastes like yes i do enjoy tequila myself so hey i could be a harsh critic but hey it's high noon so it's all good First one pours, pours clear, okay? Never had strawberry juice per se, but uh, I guess I thought it would be a little redder than that. Tequila forward. Sweet and sour, strawberry. Fruity. Very tequila forward. Uh, stronger than I thought it would be and it's good uh, but it's not the world's greatest tequila I can tell you that right off the first sip I'm a little little disappointed but it's also delicious at the same time I just you know I, there's high standards this is high noon uh, I'll go with an 8.0 next up lime Naturally, you got to have a lime if you're doing a tequila seltzer, so they know what they're up to. Here we go. Pour is clear as well. Okay. Perfect. Balance. It's like I'm sucking the lime right after a shot. Citrusy. It is tequila forward as well. A little acidic. I like this one a lot. This is the one, this would be my go-to. This would be the most commonly drank one. This is, a, this is a poolside, this is on the beach, this is on the lawnmower type of hard seltzer summary. Okay, I'm gonna go higher than the last. 8.2 there. Grapefruit. Only four flavors available in the tequila variation, but I would bet that we will see more to come. This one pours clear as well. I'm a grapefruit person, so I welcome it. Bring it on. Okay, this is strange. Uh, so far, this is the outlier. There, this tastes nothing like tequila. Uh, really just like a, not even alcoholic, I would say. In a way, it's better because it's smoother. It's basically a, te a grapefruit seltzer sans tequila. But I believe them that it's in here. It's a sweeter grapefruit. It's not bitter like you might expect. Citrusy. Just clean very very clean and crisp uh go the highest so far there uh, 8.5 this is the new favorite for me 
but we still have passion for ready to contend. So, already, I love the other passion for one. So we'll see what this does. Pours clear as well. A little tinge of uh, gold, I would say though. Okay, this one this seems to be more blended. It's not tequila, you know, right in the face. It's not fruit. It's just like it's a cocktail, really mixed better than the others. Marvelous, though. Sweet, exotic. I love passion fruit. Tropical. It almost tastes like there's a different tequila in this one. It's very odd. I like this one a lot as well. I'm going to match that score there with another 8.5. Very strong product. I knew I would like it. My only thought is this. Um, I don't prefer it. And I do prefer tequila in general over vodka. But I do not prefer this over the original but it's high noon they know what they're doing final score average score 8.3 buy it get you a pack this summer it's gonna be hot and uh, definitely a refreshing beverage and i think uh, your friends will enjoy it as well comment like share subscribe thank you